Hulk in the world of super-Earths. NASA has discovered the largest super-Earth, Toy 1075b, where one year lasts less than 15 hours. To begin with, let's note that a super-Earth is a planet whose mass exceeds the mass of Earth, but is less than the mass of Neptune, 17 Earth masses. Such planets are of course outside the solar system and are of great interest to scientists. Some super-Earths are located within the inhabited zone, in theory, water in a liquid state can be formed on them. But in our case we can't talk about it. Scientists from NASA have discovered the super-Earth Toy 1075b, which has a temperature of about 1050 degrees Celsius, that is, about any water in a liquid state have not occurred. This is due to the very short orbit. The planet rotates around its star very quickly. The duration of one year is approximately 14.5 hours. But Toy 1075b also has a peculiarity. It is the largest of the currently known super-Earths. It's about 10 times the mass of Earth. NASA calls the celestial body the Hulk in the world of super-Earths. Even though water is out of the question on Toy 1075, it is still of interest. By studying the celestial body, scientists can learn more about how rocky planets, which include Earth, formed. Toy 1075B was discovered and announced this year, 2022, thanks to the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TSS. It helped determine the diameter of the super-Earth, and its mass was calculated by scientists already at the expense of Earth. If I've kept you engaged so far, why not give this video a like, smash that subscribe button so you never miss another upload. Now with that out the way, let's dive into some more awesome discoveries, but before we do that, The New Horizons probe reached the dark and mysterious Kuiper Belt. As the probe was moving past Pluto and nearing the belt, it discovered a weird object on a strange trajectory. It was given the name Heron, and it was measured at 133 kilometers in diameter. While researchers were looking at it, it appeared to grow brighter and then dim in a precise rhythm, suggesting it was spinning. Most objects in the belt are made of ice and rock, but this thing seemed to be made of something different. Astronomers were right, but Heron was spinning so fast about once every five and a half hours that if it was made of ice and rock, it should have torn itself apart from the centrifugal force alone. But it didn't. Scientists started to wonder, what is it? And what's it made of? It was time to get in for a closer look. So NASA steered the New Horizon probe in its direction, but something weird happened as the probe approached Pluto on its way. Communications were suddenly lost as if something was jamming its signal. And as the probe moved away from Heron, communications were again restored, which turned out to be a computer glitch. But NASA was prevented from finding out the truth about the intriguing spinning object. Some researchers suggested that the spinning is creating artificial gravity in the middle of our own. And it could be some giant ship, something you may have seen in science fiction films. However, the gravity would not be enough for human passengers, but for some other form of alien life it could be. Could this object be an interstellar alien craft of some kind? Like Oumuamua is though to be most likely not. But there is always a slim chance if you are an alien species and you wanted to get a look and the strange creatures known as humans, the Kuiper Belt would be the perfect place to hide. Perhaps in the future we'll get another chance to get close and figure out exactly what Heron is. Still, there are Kuiper Belt objects we know a lot about. In 2014, astronomers discovered a weird celestial body in the outer reaches of our solar system. Its estimated size was 32 kilometers across, and what's truly interesting is, its shape resembles a snowman. In fact, scientists have long struggled to understand how such a shape could have formed. The object was named Herakov and has been visited by the U.S. space probe in 2019. It's become the most distant space object we ever examined at such a close distance. Herakoth is an example of the most primitive object in the solar system, so you may think there is nothing interesting about it. However, for scientists, flying past Herakoth was as thrilling as exploring Pluto up close. So, what's so special about it? One theory suggests that our solar system formed from dense cloud of space dust and gas. All that material as gravity pulled it together 
transformed into the planetary system we see today. There is just a tiny gap here. We don't know what happened in between these stages, and because the average Kuiper belt temperature is about minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 220 degrees Celsius, KBOs are typically well preserved, so they can fill in those gaps, and Herakoth is one of the missing puzzle pieces in studying this weird shaped flat object. Scientists came closer to uncovering how space bodies in our solar system were formed. Herakoth is a contact binary object, meaning it consists of two parts stuck together. And since these lobes differ in color, it can indicate they have once been separate objects that formed from dust in the primordial cloud over 4 billion years ago. But how did they come together without seriously damaging each other? It turns out collisions that took place billions of years ago weren't that fast and violent. In the case of this KBO, gravity made the two separate parts slowly rotate around each other and bind together in a slight collision. Each celestial body has an intriguing story. However, Herakoth isn't the only mind-boggling object the Kuiper Belt has to offer. The next object isn't famous for its size at 650 kilometers or its shape or color. But what's strange is this object's density that's 18% less than that of water, which means it can easily float. The object has a name 2002 UX25, and its low density is a big mystery. One way to explain it is the celestial body's high porosity or gaps in its structure. However, it's commonly seen in objects less than 350 kilometers in diameter. Larger objects are too massive for such a low porosity because the force of gravity compresses their material, leaving no room for these gaps. Is this Kuiper Belt object a forensic oddity? Something that will change planetary formation theories or it is something more complicated? Whatever the reason, we got to learn more about average sized KBO's density to define it for sure. Another intriguing object is almost four times the size of UX25, and it's got a lot of stories attached to it. This one is a planetoid, a minor planet that consists of rock and ice, and it's about 1,300 kilometers wide. But scientists speculate it should have been twice its size sometime in the past. It's possible that this KBO had a collision with Pluto and lost its material. As a result, what astronomers cannot wrap their heads around is why this object's temperature has risen from about minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit millions of years ago. Did something or someone heat it up? We don't know yet. This Kuiper Belt object is called Kwawa, and throughout the last several years, scientists have found water ice present on its surface. What's more? There could have been an ocean on this planetoid in the past. And that's not all we know about Kwawa. It also has a bright surface, which could indicate the KBO have had geological activity, such as cryovolcanoes, not so long ago. We all know what volcanoes are, but cryovolcanoes are something different. Although they both act similarly. The one with the weird name erupts ice chunks, water, methane, and ammonia instead of magma and ash. Quite a breathtaking view, as you can imagine, and we could probably witness this phenomenon in the future, but there is no planned mission to Kwawa yet. But if there will be one, we will make sure to tell you about it. If you're interested in more space exploration, go check out my other videos. I'm sure you will be amazed. Oh, hold on, remember to subscribe, like, and leave gravity behind, and join me as I help foster the next generation of explorers. Thanks for watching.